Honorable David Burt, Premier of Bermuda, thank you very much indeed for joining us here at Economy Middle East. I'd like to start by asking you, what is your involvement with the um, conference here and what do you expect to achieve moving forward? We were gracious to be invited by the Minister of Economy to attend the event and to certainly deliver a address to the attendees. Um, what do we aim to accomplish? We aim to accomplish deeper and better relations with uh, the United Arab Emirates. Um, but I have been, I would say, I would say impressed with the quality of the conversations and also uh, the quality of the attendees at uh, this year's conference. And certainly we'll be looking uh, to engage in the next edition of this Investopia. And what are some key areas of cooperation you'd like to develop with the UAE that you have with the UAE at the moment and moving forward? Well, to be honest, there is not a significant amount of cooperation between the UAE and Bermuda. Um, outside of uh, select uh, funds in the UAE that have investments in some of our major insurers, which are based in Bermuda, there is not uh, significantly more. However, when I do return next year for Indosopia, I hope that we'll be able to tell a different story because in the speech that I gave today, I spoke about the commonalities between the UAE and uh, Bermuda. I spoke about our shared history, our shared culture when it comes to innovation, and wanting to find out how we can deepen our relationships to ensure that we continue uh, to make an outsized impact on the world stage. And what would you define as the key areas of investment opportunities in Bermuda, and if you can break it down by sector for us? Well, absolutely. I mean, the first one would be Bermuda is the world's risk capital. So there is no better place in the world to start, run an insurance company. And so from that perspective, um, there are GCC countries that have uh, significant investments in Bermuda, um, in the insurance sector. And certainly what we would like to encourage would be deeper engagement in that area because financing international finance, but certainly through insurance, is a key area. Another place that there is investment opportunities is in the area of digital assets. Bermuda was one of the first countries in the world with a full licensing regime for digital asset companies, and we believe that there's an area in space for not just investment, but cooperation between certainly here in Abu Dhabi with Abu Dhabi Global Markets and our Bermuda Monetary Authority due to the high quality of regulation that both of those uh, centers are known for. The third space would be the blue economy. Bermuda is 21 square miles, but we have our entire exclusive economic zone that is open as our closest land mass is 600 miles away. And we have never fully developed the potential of our blue economy. So when we talk about a blue economy, of course, there is the natural item of fisheries, but there's also modern things such as aquaculture and also renewable energy from our oceans. And that is certainly a place that is ripe for investment and ripe for participation and cooperation. And I know you touched on it in the previous question a little bit, but what were some of the key topics that you discussed while you were on stage earlier today? The key topics I discussed on stage were the similarities that are between Bermuda and the United Arab Emirates. Um, our uh, shared uh, culture of innovation, um, our shared, I would say, impact on the world from being very small countries. The UAE, of course, is a country that has grown tremendously since its independence. Bermuda is a country that is outsized in the world map. We are some of the top, top countries when it comes to GDP per capita um, on the, uh, the world. And when you look at Bermuda's perspective is that outside of uh, oil producing countries, we are right up there because we have an outsized impact on the world stage. And so from that perspective, there's a shared uh, history. But I also touched on the fact that we have a shared culture of innovation and the industries of which we choose to develop and advance in have an outsized impact on the world. I close my speech by saying that it was my prayer that the speech that I gave today was the beginning of a new chapter of friendship between our two countries. I am certainly enamored by the United Arab Emirates. The kindness of the people reminds me of the kindness that we experience um, when visitors come to our shores. The beauty of the country, the safety and the cleanliness is something that is reflected in our island as well. And I certainly look to hope to deepen that relationship. And that was the uh, real uh, meaning for my speech today. I wanted to say that we would like to engage and we would like to make sure that we can build this relationship for the future. Honorable David Burt, thank you very much indeed for joining us here at Economy Middle East.